moved into town. Oh, welcome. I uh, hope you like it here. Although, I don't get why people want to move to this very quiet town. But, hey, whatever floats your boat, I guess. So, what can I do for you? You want to sign up for a library card? Okay, I can do that. Let me just start up the computer here. Just start off by telling me your name. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you spell your last name? away from me. <laughs> That's funny. Um, alright. Phone number? Don't worry, we won't text you unless you confirm to receive texts. We have this new system in place that if we borrow a book from the library and it is almost due, we will alert you to bring in the book so that you don't forget and wind up paying a late fee. But of course you have to confirm yes or no if you want to receive the texts. Would you like to put that in? Oh, okay, tell me your number. Goodness, the neighborhood dogs are sure rowdy today. Sorry, what was your number? also optional. Would you like to give your email address? We notify you of any new book arrivals, newsletters, some events that might go on at the library. We do sometimes do these little catering events for the kids and for adults as well. We also have notifications of a couple of classes that you can take. Classes, poetry clubs, things like that. Do you want to receive those emails? You do? Perfect. Can you just tell me your email? card since I don't seem to have any spare ones here at the library to give you right away. Uh, something about the whole shipping back order is just uh, a whole mess that I don't want to get into but 
once we get those library cards in, we will ship it to your house. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, so, did you need help getting around the library or checking out books? Okay, well, the library has two floors. Down here on the main floor is full of your biographies, there's some fashion books, um, travel guides, dictionaries, encyclopedias and such that nobody uses anymore, uh, you know, practical books, philosophy books, things like that. And then you go upstairs to the second floor where there are the adult novels, young adult novels, excuse me, and children's books. We also have 10 computers up there if you would like to come and enjoy the peace and quiet to do your homework and such. We offer that to students. You can print for free at the library, but uh, you have to pay for the color ink. Um, what else? If you go down this hallway and to your right, <laughs> you will find the bathrooms. And then if you go to your left, there are the empty classrooms where we do our little fun activities, such as our poetry club, as I mentioned before, and the little special events that we have going on. What else, what else do I need to tell you? Um, mm, oh, right, our hours. Uh, we are opened from 9 to 6. Oh, goodness. Honestly. People can't control their dogs like for real though. <sighs> I tell you, that barking drives me insane every day. <sighs> and I don't know what he's barking at. There's nothing there. This is what I have to deal with every day. <sighs> what was I telling you? Oh, right. Our library hours. So we are open from 9 to 6 on Monday through Fridays. And then we are open from 10 to 6 as well on Saturday and Sunday. So if you would like to come here to just work and enjoy the library, then those are our hours. Now let's see. What else can I tell you? Hmm. <sighs> I think that's it. That's pretty much all you need to know. Um, yeah, that's about everything you need to know about the library here. So, um, did you need help uh, with anything else? Um, like finding certain books? I can look them up in the system for you. No? Book recommendations. Oh, oh, I can certainly look up some of my favorite books for you that I always like to tell people about. If you will just give me a minute and I will be right back. So you just wait right here. Okay, I'm back and I got several books for you here that I think 
more joint. So let's start off with this one. So this one is called Games People Play and it's by Eric Ring. This guy right here. <laughs> or at least I'm assuming this is his picture. by the pages. Now this one is a bit more word heavy as in like usage of big words um, but it's very interesting to read if you are into psychology. If you have an interest in being a psychology major this is supposed to be book on his studies and the human relationships and you know his own thoughts and research behind it. If you're interested in some psychological books that's uh, different from what you might read. Are you interested? No? <laughs> okay. More of a casual reader I see. Okay. Okay. Not everyone likes to read very word-heavy books. You're more interested in fiction books than non-fiction books? Well, I can totally understand. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Speaking of tea, we do have some tea set up in one of our classrooms in case you are looking for a break and would like to have some snacks and tea. <sighs> totally slipped my mind. I forgot we had that. Oh, now I kind of want tea. But I'll get that later. Okay, so the next book that I brought for you is this one. This one is called Kissed by an Angel. It's a rather thick book. So, English. Two hundred and thirty five pages. Seems like a lot more than that, but um, yeah. 235 pages. Hmm. Uh, so, this book I haven't read in a long time. I read this book in high school. I really liked it. It is a romance story and it's about this boy who died and um, his girlfriend, she kind of thought that she lost everything when he died and she was really depressed and he became her guardian angel and so he goes on this mission to try and save her from a someone, uh, another character in this book uh, if I remember it Correctly. It's been a while since I read this book. But you know what? I can just read you the back of the book. Duh. Okay. A love beyond life, a danger beyond doubt. When her boyfriend Tristan died, Ivy thought she lost everything, even her faith in angels. But now she's discovered that he is her guardian angel. His presence is so strong that she can feel the touch of his hand and the beat of his heart. Ivy needs Tristan now more than ever because he knows she is in terrible danger. Only Ivy's guardian angel can save her, and now that his killer is after her. But what if Tristan rescues Ivy, his mission on Earth will be finished, and he must leave her behind forever. So. It's a long book, but if you're interested in sort of like suspense, romance, novels, the 
one. I definitely recommend this one. I mean, it does kind of stem from a very cliche romance, but hey, whatever. I definitely would say this book is better than Twilight. is for a little bit more of a mature audience, I would say. So this one is called 11 Minutes, and it's by one of my favorite authors, Paolo Coeli. And in this story, it's about a girl named Maria who turns into a prostitute. <laughs> to say the least, and, you know, she tries to find love again, basically. She falls in love with an older man and discovers a whole new side to herself. It is a book about pleasure and by the title 11 minutes it's about sex <laughs> so um for a mature audience it does get uh, sexual not too much just a smidge but um i would say rated really rated R. I'd say rated PG-13 at the most. Are you interested in this book? Yes? Oh, good choice. I always love recommending this author to people. Okay, so let's put that aside. What was that? Oh, you wanted to take Kiss by an Angel too? You want to read this one? Well, I put that aside to read. Huh. Silly me, my head is like somewhere else. I'm just forgetting all the questions that I'm supposed to be asking you. <laughs> okay. So the next we have Shine. This one is another romance, suspense, mystery type novel. And it's really stunning and raw in describing the situations that these characters are in and gosh it's like um is about a girl named Kat and her best friend Tristan, or at least I think that's his name. Oh, sorry, Patrick. Her friend Patrick is found, like, near death, and his best friend, Kat, she goes off on this journey to figure out what exactly happened to him, why he got beat up, and who was responsible for this, basically trying to like bring justice to her friend. And it just, it's really suspenseful <laughs> to say the least, but I do like the book a lot. I mean, obviously, because I'm recommending you these books, I do like all of them. <laughs> Um, don't you just love this cover? It's like creepy vibe. And also, like, notice how, like, they both have flowers on the cover. Like, is that a symbol of mysterious to have, like, a flower on the cover? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Just 
just an observation. But yeah, it's called Shine. Would you like to take this book home with you too? Perfect. Okay. All right. So that will be three books that you are taking home with you. Okay. Now, since I don't have your library card, what I'm going to do is, uh, what I have been doing for you, library card uh, holders, until you get your card, I'm going to simply write down in a file all the books that you are borrowing today. I'm going to put today's date on it, and you can borrow the book for up to two weeks. If you feel like that is not enough time, you can either come here or call and have the deadline extended. So, let me just write down the book's name and date. So, let me just open up that Excel sheet. Shine. Oh, what's today's date? Oh, that's right. Okay. That is Shine. Then I have Kissed by an Angel. Today would be mm, oh, right. Okay. All right. Here you go. Here are your books. Ah, well, that is all. Soon. I mean, you kind of have to to return the books. We do have a drop box outside of the library. If you come here and the library is closed, you can just drop that in. But if you come inside, uh, you can just come back to the desk and I will take the books and you can be on your way. So I will see you 